Uh, what I'm going to show you is uh, my big interest is partial knee replacement and knee arthritis. This is probably the most common operation I do. It's called a partial knee replacement where we just replace the broken part. So I tell people, you're kind of like cars. You're going to break parts down one at a time, and I'm just the guy that fixes you. But you only get one car, so when you break a part down, I'm going to fix that part that's broken. All the good parts I'm going to leave alone. So when we do it partially, we just replace the, one of the, either the inside or outside part of the knee, and that probably can be done 50% of the time. Now occasionally, uh, another part might wear out, and you what can do what's called a bicompartmental knee replacement, where you replace the inside part and the kneecap groove. Or a bicompartmental knee this way, where you replace the inside and the outside. What you're doing here, though, is what you say, why not do it totally? Well, you're leaving your ligaments with the bicompartmental, with the total knee, you're cutting the ligaments out. And these can always be converted to total knees later down the road. Most of the time when I go in for a revision of a partial, it's to another partial or to a bicompartmental. This would be a full knee, which involves resection of uh, probably three-eighths of an inch of bone off of each side of the knee and taking out the ligaments. That's a full replacement, whereas a partial knee is more like this. You've taken very little bone away, um, just a few millimeters, and you always have the option of doing another partial, a bicompartmental, or down the road a full knee. So it puts off the full replacement until you're older. Since people are living longer and longer, we wanna, I want to leave more options available for you in the future.